Now in this question we've been asked to differentiate with respect to x e to the 3x plus ln 2x. Now it's very common to see people uh, differentiate expressions like this uh, on the next line. They just simply write dy dx. There is no y. So what we should do is at least say let y equal this expression. Okay, so uh, to differentiate e to the 3x and ln 2x requires knowledge of the chain rule. So I'm just going to remind you what the chain rule is, just in case you've forgotten. I'll do it in the margin here. So if you have um, uh, y equals some function of x, uh, we can find the dy by dx by using a dummy variable. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use t. Uh, your teachers might even use u. Uh, that's quite common. Um, so, okay, dy dx equals dy by this dummy variable, which I'm going to call dt, and times by dt by dx. That's the chain rule. And we're going to put it into practice now. Okay, so we come on to the uh, first function, uh, e to the 3x, and uh, so we're going to start by differentiating. So therefore, dy dx equals, let 3x be our t in this example, so we would have y equals e to the t. Differentiating e to the t with respect to t, which would be this first part here, would give me e to the t. So I'm going to write e and t was the 3x, so we put the 3x in there. Notice how I put everything in brackets. Now, according to the chain rule, we have to differentiate with respect to x the thing we nominated as being t. And if you remember, that was the 3x. So differentiating 3x with respect to x would just simply give me 3. And that goes in brackets too. So that's e to the 3x three differentiated. Now we come on to... Uh, ln 2x. So I put the plus down and uh, again I'm going to call the 2x, nominate that as my t value, so I would have ln t. So the first part using the chain rule is to differentiate uh, ln t. So I differentiate ln t and that is 1 over t. So I put in brackets 1 over, I'm not going to write t, but t if you remember was 2x, so I replace the t with a 2x, close the bracket. And now in the chain rule, I have to multiply that by the differential with respect to x of the thing I nominated as t, which is the 2x. So I differentiate 2x with respect to x, and that gives me simply 2, put that in brackets. All that's needed now is just to tidy up the uh, answer up here. So when we look at the first term, 3e to the 3x would look better than what we see there. So that's 3e to the 3x. And in the second term, the two twos cancel. So uh, that's just going to leave me with 1 over x. I'll just cancel those out. There we go. And uh, that, as I said, gives me 1 over x. OK, so that is the first part uh, done. And uh, we move on to part B now. So part B, we've been asked to uh, differentiate 5 plus x squared to the power 3 over 2. So what I'm going to do is let y again equal the 5 plus x squared to the power 3 over 2. And this too is a typical chain rule uh, problem. So therefore, to differentiate this, dy dx would equal, I need to let the 5 plus x squared be my t value. So I would have y equals t to the power 3 over 2. Differentiating that, would give me t to sorry uh, three over two t to the power one half. So I'll put the three over two at the front. Then it would be t. But remember t was five plus x squared, so I'm writing five plus x squared back in. Drop the power by one, so that's the power half. So that's the first part of the chain rule dy dt. 
Now I have to times it by the differential with respect to x of the thing I nominated to be t, and that was the 5 plus x squared. So differentiating uh, the 5 is 0. I won't bother putting that in, obviously. And differentiating the plus x squared gives me 2x squared. Sorry, 2x, I mean to the power 1. Put that in. There we go. And that's essentially it differentiated. All I need to do now is just tidy it up. Uh, in tidying it up, I notice that that 2 there cancels with that 2 up there. So I'll cancel that off. Um, what else can we do? Just change the order, really, I think. We'll put the x uh, up against that 3. So we'll have 3x and then 5 plus x squared to the power 1 half. And there you have it.